Meanwhile, leaders have been urged to be examples to those they are leading and to also desist from using their position to oppress the weak and poor in the society. This was the position of the Governor of Delta State, His Excellency Senator Ifanyu Okoa, during his address at the Thanksgiving service of the Fed section of the 15th Synod of the Diocese of Asaba. According to the Governor, leadership comes with a responsibility. Hence, leaders should live up to their responsibilities. We need many God leaders in Men and women who think less of themselves than the more of the people that they are called to serve. Leadership is all about service. A leader does not mean you are better than the rest of the people. It just means you have more responsibility. And leadership is not only about those of us in government. It applies particularly to us, but it applies to every man. Because at every point in time, Governor Okoa also spoke against the rate of crime in the country, admonishing all to trust and rest on God. People, People want, want to make money, money at all costs, costs. And, and the result, result is what we are seeing all around, around us. us. Rise in cases, cases of, of ritual killings, killings, kidnappings, advanced people, people, the popular, popular one we call Yahoo Yahoo. Yahoo. Violent crimes and more courtesy in our nation. My advice is that we simply live our lives to worship, to love, obey, trust God, and leave the rest to Him. He also used the opportunity to appreciate the church for supporting him during the election and promised to live up to his responsibility as the governor of the state. The, the African, African Communion, Communion and, and all Christians, Christians in Delta State for the support, support they gave me during the course of our electionary campaign. The church prayed, the church came out publicly to support me. And I know that it's a lot of trust. And I believe that in the course of the next four years, I will continue to remember that there is something at stake. So the church needs to continue to pray for leaders in this country, not just myself. We are in very difficult times as a nation. And I will always continue to say that the church has a lot of work to do to turn things around. 